So the first thing I wanted to say was thank you to everybody that's watched our videos of us driving round the coastline of the UK that we did in the summer. That was lovely. Um, what was that? 5,000 miles, 180 hours, I think it was, over 30. We did 30 videos. And people have really enjoyed that, I think, with lots of good comments from around the world, which has uh, been nice to see. So what we've done is Minty, which was the bus that we used to do that in, the Fiat Ducato, what was it called, Beth? Timberland. The Timberland Independence that we used. We've now sold that, and somewhere up here or over there, Bev's going to put a picture so you can see what Minty, the outside of Minty was like, because Minty didn't really star in the show because the camera was always looking forward. And also, I didn't star in the show, and nor did Bev. So for today, you're going to get a bit more of me. And there's now not just one Charlie, there's two little puppies, and they're down there. Um, this is our Charlie here. He's grown a bit since he did all of his driving. And this is my wand, because I need a, a prop. And this is Coco, new addition to the family. And she's crazy. So we'll see whether you see her again and flick her ears back if I can. There we go, there we go, good girl. So this is the replacement for Minty. This is Gloria. Gloria is a Lestrada Nova EB 4x4, which we've just had delivered from Germany. Uh, she's not yet registered, so we can't drive her on the public highway. And we'd like to give you a really in-depth tour because there's been lots of good videos of Novas on the on YouTube and stuff that we've seen. Um, a guy called Alan Heath did, did one of the first ones that we saw, and he, he did a good walk around, and he's probably one of the reasons why we went and looked at this, so thank you, Alan. Um, but I wanted to get into every nook and cranny, every door pocket, every everything, so you got a completely detailed look of what these vehicles are like. So, would you like to follow? Well, have a look around first, and then come back to me. Follow me. First thing, this is my Harry Potter wand, so I can point at things. I'm not a fan, Bev is. It's actually Dumbledore, not Harry Potter. Right. Okay, you need to say that. <laughs> right, so, first thing, this here is the gas locker. And if I can open the door. So we've got two. Oh, what are they? I forget what size they are. Six, six. six kilo. We've got two six kilo Caligas. In Germany, they want you to use um, slightly larger things, but I think they also want us to use a refillable system, which in the UK is, uh, I think, Gaslo. And I spoke to Gaslo and they were really, really helpful, but they kind of turned me away from using their product. So what they wanted me to do was to either put an external fill-up point to one side or somewhere else on the vehicle, which I really didn't want to break through this fiberglass, or they wanted me to put one inside. And I read some stuff which said that when it's inside, you might have problems in refilling when you're in other countries. So, so what we ended up doing was Harvey, our son, built a wooden base, which has got, there's a hole straight through the base of this. So if there's any leakage, the gas will go down. So we've effectively mimicked the stainless steel plate that was underneath it, but I made a wooden one because I don't want to sit these on top of stainless steel and damage that, I've seen that before. And outside of that, there's a Truma crash sensor thing here. There's a barbecue point here and there's a Truma pre-filter here. Um, so all in all, we hope not to use the gas because there's plenty of electricity on board and in theory, this will be emergency only. And I'm that prissy. I even covered it with cling film, mm -hmm. cling film. There you go. 
<laughs> so that is the gas locker. These are magnetic, not ma yeah, these are magnetic points that the door sits back on. So it takes the weight of the door, but it also magnetizes to it and, and keeps it held there as well. Do you want to have a look at these hinges? Um, they're really, really solid. And I'd like to think quite secure as well and this is the button that you use to press to open the gas locker okay we'll go inside in a minute two vents for the fridge um, Fiamma awning which is a manual awning not electric um, the theory at uh, La Strada is, I think, is that the more that you do that can break, the more problems you cause for yourself. So there's a manual awning there. One of the, when, we, when we looked at this vehicle first time round, this wasn't here and this wasn't here because they, they had like a push-close fit, which was all well and good, but possibly not the most secure. So something in, in somewhere during 2020, let's say, somebody convinced La Strada correctly so to put these manual locks on these locks don't work with the um, the Mercedes uh, door lock they work with their own manual locks and for me that's a much more secure way of doing it so I think they've done the right thing there so again you oh that, that, I didn't know that <laughs> no, nor did I <laughs> proves the point doesn't it this is the alarm sensor for the for the Titronic German alarm system which is excellent and this is this is the other sensor to match the door this light up to the left comes on when it senses your presence mm -hmm. and it goes off when you go away obviously up here we've got the Fiamma um, thing and what we've got at the moment is we've got an empty boot and in a minute we're going to put some stuff in the boot to kind of show you how we plan to keep all of our stuff and we like it. This is a pullout for your shore power. So you don't have an external point at all for that. And that again is, um, is magnetic in some way. And then you have all the way around you have this I think it's called airline track and they, they are a really really helpful bunch of people in Holland um, and these fixings are really quite really quite I mean, there's, there's all sorts of information about what they hold in terms of poundage but we've got some of these on the way with a view to strapping up certain things in the boot here but I, I think you can keep everything really really solid so in the center You've got access to the living accommodation, to the habitation unit there. You've got storage down here for, let's say, fluids, um, things in, in gallon containers. Everything's carpeted. And then you've got this section at the back here, and we'll show you more about that in a moment. And then you've got the, the fabulous room in there where First thing we, well, see, I don't know anything about any of these things. Charging stuff. This is all about charging management for the batteries. This is the Truma system, which manages the, um, the heating and hot water. Mm -hmm. So you can speak to that via a, a SIM card. More controller units. This is the mains charging unit. Over on this side, these are fuses for various elements of the vehicle. Here, we have a inverter, which I think is something like 1700 watts, but it can take, it will go up to three kilowatts for short periods or something like that. So it has a booster facility. And then you have um, the Steitz um, 240 amp hour lithium battery, which is beautiful. I'm learning how it works. It's quite complicated, but that is absolutely beautiful and you can speak to the battery via 
uh, a wireless LAN unit over here. Now, I don't think that should be down there. I think it should be up this side somewhere, not on the base, but that's where it is at the moment. And there's shelving space in here, but I can't really see myself keeping anything in here for, for the risk of it falling around and damaging stuff. So the quality of this woodwork from the Strada is beautiful, beautiful. Wherever you see anything, it's been so well built. Really pleased with that. And up here, we have a classic cigarette lighter, 12 volt and a 230 volt in European two pin style, uh, which we've kept on the bus. Everything we've got is European style two pin fittings. Um, so that one day if we ever sell, we can sell it in Europe or in the UK. So that is that one. This is a Mercedes reversing camera. It's tucked mm -hmm. away behind there. So the minute you um, stick it in reverse, that obviously looks down. Uh, obviously there will be plates there. We don't have any plates at the moment. Um, but when we do, that's where they're going to go with our GB stickers on, no doubt. And that window at the back is beautiful. The bed is underneath there. The window opens up and you get your ventilation and in your view from the bedroom. So I think that's very nice. On this side. Right, this is a grey water dump. Uh, that's open, I think. Um, that's closed, but as we're not using it at the minute, there's no reason to really learn it. That's that's all that is. This is the toilet cassette door, which I shall just do now. And here we have the Truma. Um, on the left-hand side, that's the SOG ventilation for the toilet, which I've got to say is very impressive. This is the Truma, I think it's D6, six kilowatt system, which runs off the, the diesel. So that doesn't use gas or electricity. I use electricity to start, I guess, but it runs off diesel. In fact, that there is the diesel pipe. But um, I'm quite confident this is gonna work well for us. So that does the heating and the hot water. And then down here, this is the frost control. I don't know, it's probably got a technical name, but to me, if you want to dump water or look after yourself in the winter time to protect from frost, this is what you use. I haven't really read the manual too much at the moment. And then elsewhere, you've got more airline track, airline track. I mean, to be honest with you, I think they've put a little bit too much on for us, but we got to the point where communications were quite difficult. So we just said, do what you would do if it was yours and they put too much in, <laughs> but there you go. And, and in here. oh yeah. What we've got then? What is that in there? That's the shower, outdoor shower. Hot and cold water. Hot and cold, iron and house on off. Yeah. Yeah. And we've got a thing that attaches to there for showers. So that's your outdoor shower, which is great. And then again, if you look over my head, your lights come on here uh, automatically, apparently on both sides. But if we close the doors, they will go off. There's nothing else on this side mechanical. Oh, wheels. So these are the stock wheels. They're, we're replacing those. We've got, I'm going to see if Bev can put a picture of the new wheels within the video, but we've got 16 inch, um, well, there you go, it says it, 225-75-R16s. What we're doing is we're changing these to Borbots, and these are going to be a 4x4 tyre as well, so that's going to change in the near future. This is the exhaust for the Truma heating. Again, that's got the, mag the magnetic element on there to stop the door smashing into it. Toilet cassette. Again, everything's manual as opposed to automatic. So this is a classic automatic system, um, which has the that's the sog, that's the vent. So the fumes are sucked out of there, taken somewhere where we can't smell them. And that's how that works. 
So that's the inside of the area. I think it's a 15 litre, 15 litre cassette. But again, the theory of Lestrade is that if you overcomplicate these things, you do sort of more harm than good. Um, so I'm quite happy to take their advice on these things. And that's it. Shazam. <laughs> Fitted. <laughs> Windows are obviously darkened from the outside, so you've got a good deal of privacy. <laughs> so we top up the storage water, uh, 100 litres. Yep. Um, so that's straightforward enough. And, and when we do the boot again, I'll show you how what we've well what our son has built for us to make sure our water is filtered. <laughs> so that's that. So let's go around the front again. So no registration plates at the moment and two fog lights, flat LEDs, uh, left hand drive. In order to get it registered in the UK we had to change the binnacle from KMH to, LP, uh, to MPH um, but other than that it's, it's, uh, there was no changes that we had to make and I think that's pretty much the outside. Ah, Shazam, I'm back. Um, first thing, just if we mention any trade names or anything, we're not getting paid by anybody. This is how the boot's going to look in anger. So we've got a series of grey stacking boxes. I think there's three there. This is where the spare wheel goes. Harvey made a plinth here, and there's just a chock there because it's not supported properly yet. But So Harvey's made a plinth for the, it'll take the weight of the wheel and then underneath that, right the way across the, the side of the bus here, we can have things that are long and flat. So that could be paddles, mats, um, it could be anything else. And I really want to show you this as well because this Harvey also made, and this is our water filtration. So we didn't want to, didn't want to fit anything inside the bus because there's A, there's not room, and B, I don't want to do anything permanent until I really, really work out what it is we need. But inside here, if you can have a look, I'm not taking it all out. This is a five, five meter tube. Below this, you've got a sediment filter and you've got a, five, a half a micron um, carbon filter. So the inbound water comes in from a hose there it go and we've choked the hose back to I think six mil so that it gives you no more than the four to five litre flow which is important for the filters and also for the UV so the water comes into the sediment filter and these are just canister filters I right, can you see any can you get in there mm. can you see close enough in there mm. I really don't want to take it out no. okay anyway 10 inch canister filters that's what they are two filters and then the water comes up into the UV. There's a, there's a um, 20, 30 watt UV here, um, which operates off the 230. So there'll be an extension lead going over to the other side. And then the water comes out of this and goes effectively directly into our 100 litre tank. So it's really important for us that we don't go around buying lots of five litre tubs of water. Um, and that we effectively can be kind of guaranteed that we're not going to be drinking bad water. So we've got two particles in the UV and I don't see how much more we can do other than that. And I think that means the plan is, is that we don't treat our water tank. So we're not going to have anything that's going to change the taste of the water or that's going to potentially damage the uh, Truma system. Um, so it's going to be chemical free, that's the idea. And then all I've got to do, we've got new straps coming with ratchet tighteners on, and I've got to just find a way of making sure that that is included in, in the strapping down 
so when we move so that i don't know how many liters of storage there is there but there's there's loads it goes right the way across the other side obviously so this is the side where we would be cooking from we've got a table that comes off here um we've got two chairs there got to be careful with these little bits here to make sure we don't knock them off i've already knocked it off once um, but they do glue straight back on again um, and we have an induction top just in case we're not able to barbecue or something um, so that's that's how the garage looks full and so, really pleased with that so tidy hey uh, eh? tidy 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 this is important this is, this is as much a memory for me of what Gloria looks like when she's clean and tidy <laughs> and new and not smashed to pieces. So this video is going to be something that I can at least look at in the future. I think that's how she was. So I'm not going to stack this up, but this is the engine bay. She is a three litre automatic V6 um, Mercedes Benz, obviously. Um, I don't know much about engines, so if anybody does, then enjoy. Um, add blue goes there. We're going to be putting a, an air compressor either on that space down low or in this space over here to so that we can be self-sufficient with our tire um, pressures up and down. This is a, a manual um, element of the the oh, what's it called? Is it VB VB air? Uh, the air suspension because the vehicle's got what they call full which is only one axle it's got rear suspension air, air extra air suspension which does things like lowers and, and raises for, for for getting on and off ferries I don't think we're going to suffer with that but also it adds greater stability to the to the to the ride I think um, but you know we had to have it so that's it we'll, we'll see if it's any good but that's BB air and that's the manual bit if for some reason the system drops pressure or something mm -hmm. I guess so that's that bit in terms of in terms of specifications she's 6.99 meters long she's 2.99 meters high at the highest point um, what I'll probably do in a minute is get the get the ladders out jump up um, I think she's about 2.4 meters wide, 2.45 meters wide, and I think she's got about 700 kilos payload. Um, she's rated up at somewhere like about 4.3 tons. I don't know, mixture of tons and kilos, um, but that's my recollection of things. So I think we'll be okay with that. So where's my wand? I think you might have left it in the boot. Hang on. <laughs> Make me disappear. Okay, I think I'm recording. Right, so on the roof, uh, rear window opens up and closes and vents, etc. 100 watt um, solar panel there. This is a Max Air fan over the uh, which does which blows in and blows out. There's no air conditioning on the bus. Again, that's well, it's, it's impractical. Um, for use if you want to stay away from, from campsites and things. Um, bent over the toilet, uh, another window over the kitchen area, another solar panel, and another opening window over the front end. I washed this roof this morning, it's already, well I couldn't leather it because it's virtually impossible so I hope it rains again soon it'll look better again so that's the roof with all of its attachments and fitted I can walk on the roof as long as I don't walk within I think 10 centimeters or something of any of these assets um, but this is a 3.8 meter ladder I'm stood on now and it's only about two foot above so I'm not going to get up there if unless I really 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 have to so uh, oh and that's an aerial I'm gonna say a GPS aerial, I imagine. Don't know. Shazam. 
<laughs> Back in the room. Um, door. Bev insists that although they make these in black, she insists we have to keep it in green for a while. But so here you go. So, doorway. On the way in, you've got your step in and out. That is a tri-gas alarm, uh, which is not on at the moment. Uh, these are lights for interior lights. And, and exterior light too. And exterior as well. And um, vents for the heating. Kitchen. Two ring gas. Kind of intend really to try not to use that because I want to use as much electricity as possible. Sink, draining sink. Feels like it's really, really good quality. These things are never deep enough. We've put a plastic base in it to stop for us so that we don't scratch the, um, the stainless steel. We'll see how long that lasts. And this is always going to be a work area, so it's going to look worse over time. Window. Um, opens sort of single stage first stage there but then obviously you can open all the way and put these tighten these things up which i've never really liked they're very successful at all um, so i'll probably end up getting something to stick in there for the moment <laughs> the coffee thing there's loads of ventilation on the bus and there's some things that we can we can hang these bev's put these things on here so that we can we can hang things so you've got a little bit of open storage here for cactuses <laughs> and musical glasses, um, tea, coffee, raspberries, sugar, sugar, it's around the other way. Um, two thirty volt, two times twelve volt. They're kind of practical, you know. I don't know. I, you know, I mean, I'd rather they were there, but are they really practical? You usually have rubbish hanging out, and anyway, so there they are. They are. They're there. So crockery storage and the base for the most beautiful little kettle, electric kettle that I bought, love it. So electric kettle would, would be there when it's in use. Crockery and stuff there. Oh, it's getting hot in here, how'd you do that? <laughs> oh, there you go. Will it stay there? Yes. Wow. Well, I won't put the fan on because it'll make too much noise. Well, right. It's better already. It is, isn't yeah. it? Fridge. Yes. Isotherm fridge, very nice so far, well done. This is a fully electric fridge, nothing in it, good. Um, so it's it's only electric, it's not gas. So again, trying to really limit our use of gas. We didn't really have a choice as to the fridge that we had. We had a choice whether we had a, a slightly smaller one or a slightly bigger one, which was slightly more expensive. So we went for the, the lifetime solution and went for this one, but it's all electric uses if i recall about 70 watts an hour something like this and if you've got 200 watts on the roof then pretty much it shouldn't really cause us a problem so that is a lovely fridge uh drawers are all soft clothes um cutlery um spare kettle which may not make the final that's the gas kettle that's the gas kettle too big rubbish bin bits and pieces pans other things drainer drainer my favorite drawer which one Down oh there. right is there anything in it yeah okay tea towels tea towels <laughs> draw tea towels and then charlie can you shazam charlie come on charlie back shazam. To oh also no poppers in any of these, I hate poppers. So in here, there's two lifting, just like on a boat, like build storage. Um, this one. I don't think there's anything in these. No, no, not yet. So, so you got storage for puppies? <laughs> Naughty puppies. Mm -hmm. uh, long, long life tins. Yeah. Milk. Stuff like that. Baked beans. Shoes. Yeah, shoes, that kind of thing. So these lights at the bottom of the steps here, they come on when you walk near the air. I didn't realise this, look. <laughs> Coco. Somebody's made herself comfy. All right, girl. <laughs> We've added this uh, carpet for the minute. I don't know why, but we have. It's, so, the, it's a dog bed. Is it? Okay, dog bed. 
It's working, isn't it? Stay yes. there, stay. Storage in here for bedding. Is there storage under here? Yes, that's a cupboard as well. Oh. Hoover, washing. Cleaning materials. Cleaning materials. So, behind Coco. <laughs> So there's your garage. Um, that's the emergency escape route. The, the emergency <laughs> escape route, which you through. definitely can't get out at the moment. I'm all right <laughs> with that though. I'd, I'd rather do something on the interior of this door to make it secure for roll on roll off ferries um, than worry about getting in and out of there. That's a small matter for me, I think. Um, drawer here, all these drawers are soft close. And they're huge. That is, that is the length. Dumbledore's wand. Mm, long. Mm -hmm. And this one here is one of these. Which is probably two Dumbledore wands. Mm. So that'll be for other kitcheny things as well. They really haven't missed any opportunity to use some space. I've got to put you back on here, okay? Instead, <laughs> right. So that's a wardrobe. So that's a hanging wardrobe, storage space, probably electricity. Is there electricity in there? There isn't. There it? isn't. No, no electricity. We did but ask them for electricity, but I think they must have forgotten that. There's fuses over there. Uh, just deep, tons of storage. Just loads of storage. Again, we're not fully moved in yet. Um. Here, that's the slide out for the infill piece for the bed, which goes there. So you can make our twin beds into a, to a treble. A large, <laughs> that's right. large. That'd be fine. Large, large, oh, double I'm bed. Right. I'm alright with that. Right, so the beds. These beds have got, what are they called? These have got a name. Mm, I don't know. Forgotten the name, but these are. It's a really firm mattress, isn't it? The mm. mattresses are really solid. Yeah. And it's got these things doing what these things do to make your... Makes the bed super comfortable. Super, super comfortable. <laughs> Not just very comfortable, but super. super comfortable. These things come off and move around. So you could have that there or there, or I guess you could even have another two of these if you wanted to there and there. You could even have them at the front of the bus if you wanted. True, true. All the opening doors have got this magnetic strip here and, and along here so that when the thing closes it doesn't move I'll show you in a minute on the bathroom door how, how solid that thing is so you've got storage above the bed one two three these lights back here have got USB charging on as well and oh there you go the reading that's, light. so you've got a touch at the back and that's how your reading light comes on these move around um, so and also what we love the most is What's the that? touch LED lights, strip lights. Oh yeah. There you go. Wow, and they're all over the bus. Yeah, everything's touch LED. There's also a speaker under there for yes. our amazing music. Right, okay. So, oh hang on. It really is too hot. At the moment. It's even worse, the sun's coming in. <laughs> you could put the fly screen over that, it would just give you a bit of shade. Okay, that's right. So, I didn't show you that on the other window, but obviously, each one of these windows I, I don't know the make of the window, but each one has got the dual fly screen and the, the blind, blind, blackout blind, if you like. Um, anyone that's used these before know that they keep bugs out but they also stop the airflow, which is a bit of a shame. But that's that's what they, they keep the bugs out, which is the main thing. And leave it open just to get the air in. This back window, again, is alarmed and it's got the, the same kind of, obviously half open bit that you see everywhere. But also, it, these things apparently will stick it open. I don't think they're very good. So we'll, we'll put a little bit of wood or even a wand <laughs> just there. Keep that open and then also you've got that and and that to have whatever 
the desired outcome may be. So that's the back end, the bed end, and this bed, is, this, this is the bed you get with the extended base version, the EB. The other version of the uh, Lestrada Nova is um, a bit more sporty, a bit more aggressive. I think it's about half a metre, I could be wrong. Is it only half a metre shorter? Hang on, five point, no, maybe a metre and a half shorter. I think it's five and a half metres instead of six, yeah, seven metres. Um, but what you get on that configuration is you get, a, you get a strange bed that goes right the way across the back. So a single that comes right the way across here. Uh, I guess the bathroom is pretty much where I'm sat now. You, uh, you don't get, nothing is as big, but what you've got at the front, if you want to turn around, what you get at the front is you get, you see where that thing there, um, that's like a pull down, I'll show you that in a minute, but you get a bed that's up there and it drops down and it works well. It's really, really good quality, but it's, so it's like a small two person as opposed to slightly more luxurious. Three person with the extra single bed. Sure, because that's a double and then you've got a single at the back. So mm. actually you can, you can fit three people in it, whereas this one really is and only two. And it be very cramped. So the, so the M is slightly more sporty. The extended base, the one that we've gone for, is slightly more leisurely. I mentioned I said about this has got a full, actually, so one thing here, there's a track here. So there's a curtain. Uh, Shazam! Comes out of there. <laughs> I won't get it out, but there's a curtain that goes right the way across there if you really really insist on having that whole area darkened off and then big boy muscles oh, that's got a magnetic strip so that is not opening when you're driving and it won't wobble it won't make a noise um, so this is your bathroom come on in toilet um, I don't know what type of toilet oh domestic toilet flush there's a panel which we'll look at in a moment behind Bev, which um, you turn that on before using this. And you, I think, I think this swivels, I've not tried it, but I think it swivels. But you basically, um, you, you can do it two ways. You can do your business and then flush and then open, splosh. Or you can leave it open. And when you leave it open, when you the minute you open this, once you turned on, I'll, I'll do it over Bev's head. You can't hear it, but I can. The fan's running, and it's running because I've opened this. If I close it, the fan stops. The fan's on, so the SOG unit is working. Um, and you've got your flush there, and I think, it, I think it's superb, and it's real simple. Nothing can go wrong. Shower, so shower screen comes right the way across. Neat idea of two plugs, just in case you're not level, happens all the time. Um, this thing here pulls down, gives you a super sink, sink drains down the back and effectively will go wherever this water's going, into that water's going into the grey tank. Holders for tooth brushes, um, some sort of special juice in there. The light obviously comes on and off when you do it automatically, which is very nice. Shuts of these push clothes. Mm -hmm. and one, you do the right side first. Ah, you've got to do one the right side first. Okay. And again, you've got that soft touch thing up there. You've got, I don't know what that's for. Oh, that's for the other end of this. That's for the shower door to lock too. That's it. So you've got all your, your unmentionables in there. Um, we haven't set this up for use yet, so obviously it wouldn't be like that if we were ready to go somewhere. But you've got to open the right-hand door first. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay, see? That's how that works. Shower. We haven't used it yet, uh, but look forward to using a shower. Having your own shower is a real luxury. Um, our last bus had a shower that you never choose to use. Uh, storage. Over. Window, you can't see in. Um, Privacy window. And obviously, you standard. Can leave it open. Like this. Yeah. Mm. Toilet roll holder, heating outlet. Oh, oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> Nearly knocked you out. <laughs> Crazy um, 
LED lights. LED lights all the way down. Very nice, obviously. Uh, towels. That's now off. So that is the bathroom. And stop, that ain't going anywhere. Right then, the front end. Okay, so just, you've got four seats. Two driver's seats, two other seats. What's that system called for hanging kids' seats on? <laughs> Uh, uh, something fix. Uh, Isofix. 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 So these are Isofix system seats. Um, underneath this, you've got your 100 litre water storage tank. I'm not going to lift this up. We've put these here to stop the dogs scratching the leather. Um, and for the first time in our lives, we've done it before the dogs have scratched the leather. <laughs> yeah. So this one comes out when you're looking to have two people sat there. So this pad will come away and this 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 thing here folds away and that gives you full space and when you've got your table in there the table at the moment is up here but that's where your table will go and we would pretty much run normally without having a table in use so that's the seating area um there's a we'll come to the television in a second <coughs> big window excuse me opens all the same ways that the other ones do with all the same protections open storage power again to uh, 2 240 and um and 12 volt more storage again the quality of these fittings is fabulous absolutely fabulous um things to hang things on in here so this is certain nights of the week this is the football lounge <laughs> and we do here you've got 12 volt television now i don't know whether this is a design positive or a design fail but there's two rubber points back here and in order to get the tv up you have to actually just pull this out very very gently and that sits in between there it's rock solid mm. so i think that's a good thing i don't know whether that was me meant to be like that mm. 12 volt television you can cast anything from a phone to it um two 240 volts so when you've turned on your inverter Storage underneath. Um, we don't get storage into there because that's the gas locker. And then storage above, and then more storage over here for really important things like glasses. Mm -hmm. uh, which what Bev's done is she put a like a foam base in here with the cutouts, so these things actually don't go anywhere. Uh, whether that idea stands the test of time, we'll see. But at the minute, we wanted to try and go back to glassware as opposed to plasticware. Um, so that's that covered. This is a diesel heater. It's not in the manual, but it, on one, that heats, that makes sure your diesel works up to 1500 meters elevation. Anything above 1500 meters, you switch it on to two. And that makes sure your diesel is heated. So when you're at altitude, your vehicle works. This is a control panel, um, 12 volt taps, or should I say pump, fridge, and something else. Oh, so the yeah, um, temperature. Oh no, that, I'm sorry, that is the light lighting oh, for right. the screen. For this, right. Yeah. So this is the, uh, the, the, the Mercedes-Benz vehicle battery, 13.3 volts showing full. Uh, on the right hand side is the house battery, which is the 240 states lithium showing 13.9 showing that we're currently gaining 4.9 amps so although we're not using anything other than the fridge and it probably isn't drawing its full well mind you it's very hot outside so it probably is drawing all of its 70 odd watts so that i think i think i'm not quite sure but i think that's 4.9 so 5 amps so what's that about if i'm right about 60 watts on top of the 70 watts that's using anyway it's good and this one shows you the water so currently we were playing around with the water we filled it up and then emptied it to work out how to empty it um so that's showing our water capacity it's 40 liters so out of a total of um 100 liters these are temperature sensors and things mm -hmm. is that what yeah, they are yeah. yeah 
and then you've got your your Truma iNet, which I've tried, and I'm really pleased with it, actually. That that does your hot water, so that's your your vehicle temperature, so your heat, and your hot water controls, and your fan controls over here. It's really easy to use. You can control it from your phone. Not a massive benefit, but it does work. You've got um, you can preheat it if you're coming home and you want a hot shower. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so you can preheat it, or you can check its status even when you're abroad or when you're a thousand miles away from it this is the inverter so it's i think it's a really good one um it has an automatic setting it has an on setting and when the line shows showing red that means you're plugged into shore power so if we're not doing anything on here it's showing 32 degrees outside and 29 in mm. and that's in somerset <laughs> uh, so that's how we'll leave it um and then at the front end I guess for some this would be the best bit, but for kind of us, it's just it's just the office bit. Um, you've got the captain's chairs, which go up, left, back, forward. Um, do they, they don't vibrate, but they do have. Uh, they have cooling, uh, uh, heating and heating, cooling. Heating seats. and cooling. So they're climate controlled. So you've got heated seats and cooled seats. And then this is the new Mercedes-Benz MB. Where's my wand? <laughs> The new Mercedes-Benz MBUX system, which, um, should we turn it on? You can. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, what's that called? Cactus. Cactus number one, cactus number two. Um, we've also fitted a, a dash cam, um, and that has a crash sensor. So the idea being is that if we leave the vehicle and we're away from the vehicle, we can uh, have some confidence that we know what's going on. I don't. I think I can. I think I can get it set up so you can dial into it. I'm just turn that off because it'd be too noisy. So anyway, um, you've got. This is a, a. This is as good as any car you'll drive in terms of Mercedes range, with all the controls you want and tons that you don't know how to use, all on here. Um, cruise control, cruise control, automatic, um, automatic, um, what do you want to do? And then nothing. <laughs> Can you say that again? No, I cannot. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so it's got like an automatic parking button. It's obviously soft start. It's got the four by four controls are down here. Um, it's got lane control, wind control. It's got adaptive cruise control. Um, your gears are here forward and reverse. Uh, parking button it's just oh you've got your tiptronic controls on the steering wheel um, as you can see she's only done 64 miles oh no she's done 134 so I think we've done 134 miles in her and that was just to get her MOT'd and that's the only time we've been able to drive her on the road sadly mm -hmm. um, cup holders cup holders um, loads of storage on the top oh yeah storage these bins brilliant uh, that's also charging uh-huh or phones, or any other gadgets. Yep. Lots of pockets yep. to hide your stuff. Or when you get a kebab and you want to keep it hot on the way back home, you stick it in there. <laughs> so you got one each. There you go. So these storage bins are just brilliant, they really are, because you get to hide all your rubbish. Shazam. This is the tabletop. Do you want to have a look over there? Because we thought, we wondered whether a child could, <laughs> not that we, we... We are not hiding children. No, but we, we, we wonder whether a grandchild might be able to sleep up there, but it's at a bit of an angle, so that's not really going to be possible unless you level it out by some means. But technically a child, if you level that out, you could sleep over there. Um, but for the minute, that's where we're going to be keeping the tabletop and probably very little else. Maybe, a, I don't know, I don't know, nothing. So that's how that works. And these LEDs are switched on. There you go. Mm -hmm. Like that. And then we have a curtain system. Oh yeah. Don't None of that. your silly blinds on the windows there. I haven't done this before. Just simple blackout curtains. On our old Minty, we had these plastic things that just got, just got in the way everywhere. Yes, that goes around there. This is just nice and simple. So shuts off the front, keeps it nice and cosy. Yeah, so that's your front shut up if you're staying anywhere and you want a bit of privacy for 
a bit of time. Obviously, not a live plant because we'd kill it. <laughs> um, do you know what I think? I think that's it. I think I really have covered everything. Do you want to follow me outside? There's, there is a dog in there, by the way. Mm.